Good everyone, it's video and today we have a updated prim review on the M4 Hybrid. This vehicle's had a few changes since we've at last covered this channel, or this vehicle on the channel I should say, a few years ago. Originally I was going to have this update out for you before the Kings of Attila or whatever it's called update, but then Gaijin dropped a chainsaw which actually benefited the vehicle, so I scrapped it and well you're getting it now. Sorry for the delay on that. So what has changed about the M4 Hybrid, but before we do that, and answer that question, in the description below there's a few timestamps, so you can skip ahead straight to the gameplay, or you can just skip ahead to the weaponry, armor, mobility, and all that jazz, and just briefly, yeah, that that's also there. Additionally, in the description below there will also be a link to my Discord server, should you wish to join it. Bear in mind, there will be a 30-day only link, because we're not classed as a community on Discord, we don't have that enabled. So, if you do need a link in the future, please do let me know. So, without further ado, let's get into the M4 Hybrid's weaponry, armor, and mobility. Before I do that, I'll briefly mention the price. This is 1300 Golden Eagles or 650 on sale. And I'll, I'll cut straight to the chase. I do think this tank is worth the investment. And, well, the armor's not going to be. A showcase of why I think it is because the armor isn't something you rely upon but it's definitely a starting point. So starting out with the front we do have 50.8 on the frontal hull which of course is angled pretty traditional Sherman hull but you'll notice the M4 hybrid actually has a bit of a different hull shape compared to a normal Sherman. This is because this is the composite hull as they called it. This was originally bought by Chrysler from what I've been able to read up, and essentially it's half and half. You have the front part which is all cast like a traditional early Sherman, but then the rear part is built like a normal, more modernist Sherman, so like rolled homogenous armor. The turret's still cast, so nothing to worry about here, but a bit of an interesting thing that I always like about the M4 hybrid. Coming up to the turret, we have 76.2 with some bit, well, one little bit, I should say, being 50.8. This is where the turret traverse is, the electronic turret traverse. So, bear that in mind, this is a weak spot. So, if you do get shot here by a gun that normally wouldn't pen the frontal turret, you now know why. But why did I want to wait till this vehicle got a buff? Well, it's the gun mantler. This vehicle used to have a 76 total millimeter gun mantler, so 38 on the front plate here and 38 behind here. I'd been saying for years this needed to be corrected because this tank had untapped potential because it was so much weaker than the other Shermans in that regard. But now they've actually fixed it so it really does help the Sherman out in a hold down position and this tank is an absolute beast now and really does its work and has really redeemed itself. But anyway, Coming around to the side, it's traditional Sherman. I don't really need to go into much detail here. There are little extra plates where the ammo racks are, but these will never save you. Unless you're against an AA, I guess. Up the side of the turret, and the rear of the turret is 50.8, and the rear is 38.1, with the roof being 19.5, and the turret roof being 25.4. It's traditional Sherman. There's nothing I can really say about it. It will do the job. It won't take every hit in the game, but you'll be facing mostly the Americans anyway, so your frontal armor will actually come into play, so that's at least something. Just bear that in mind that the corners of the hull are a weak spot still, because they do curve around, but they are a little bit stronger than your traditional M4A1, so just bear that in mind. Coming into the mobility, we do have 31.5 tons being propelled by this single 400 horsepower engine, and let's just put it this way, this can be a bit sluggish. It's, it's definitely not the fastest tank, I'm going to say that right now, but it will definitely get you to where you need to be in the battle. It won't be a Formula 1 race car exactly, but it will do the job. That's all I can really say on that regard. Your top speed will be 23.6 forwards and 3.1 backwards. More than enough and it's pretty traditional for a normal Sherman. So nothing to really write home about here. Coming up to the gun, we do of course have the 75mm M3 cannon, which... Again, it's nothing really to write home about. It's it's your traditional Sherman 75. With, of course, the stabilizer being one of the main metrics of this. And it is a great weapon to have, especially when you're fighting Russians. Because normally you can beat them to the punch. And if you know where to shoot a Russian tank most of the time, you're going to pen them 
hands down. And against KV1s, this thing is quite a good tip vehicle for it, because obviously the frontal hull can take the KV1s rounds. Their 75mm of armour can't really take the 75 from the Sherman. And well, we'll get into the shells very shortly. Additionally, this is one of the few premium Shermans that actually have a roof mounted 50 cal. Trust me, this 50 cal is very useful, and you'll even see how good it can be against even a Crusader, because it's that useful. But anyway, the vehicle has also had a smoke grenade launcher added. It's only a 50mm caliber smoke grenade, so it's not going to be the biggest, but it really does help. And whilst the vehicle doesn't have access to smoke shells, this is definitely a starting point. Of course, the two main shells you're going to be using are the M61 shot, you'd be stupid to not, and the M48 shell. You do have a 50 cal, but of course, that if the commander dies, you will have to load some HE for some other targets. And sometimes you might not even have time to engage a target from distance with 12.7, so you'll have to load a HE anyway, but I digress. But yeah, this vehicle really just has it all really. It's a jack of all trades, master of none, it's traditional Sherman. But the fact that this vehicle's had a few changes to it, one of which is really needed, has really solidified its purchase. And of course, with it now being rank 3, it is just an all-round much better vehicle now. And I highly suggest picking it up. If you, of course, prefer a more traditional sniping tank, there is the Panzer IV G. But of course, that's just what people prefer in that case. I personally prefer the Sherman over the Panzer IV. It's a bit more versatile on most maps, and you'll see what it's like on the map that we get in the actual gameplay and speaking of the gameplay i'm going to hand you over to it now it's just me in the gameplay and you'll see not only how good that 50 cal can be but you'll also see that this tank is very good for making people not want you on their christmas card list anyway i'm going to leave you all to it for today and i hope to see you all on the next one well there you can see the next show that i'm going to work on a review for once i get it not too far off of getting it, so should have it within the next week or so. Looking forward to it, having another Sherman in the old, shall we say, hangar. Although, I will miss the 50 cal on this. Okay, there goes our teammate. I'm just going to take a slight right here. I don't mind not getting the cap, but it would be nice if I did get it. Yeah, we might as well take it. I hear something over this side. Don't think my teammate has. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I could definitely hear something rushing. Yeah, right there. S-35. Oh, hello. Thank you. I rushed my shot. I should have gone a little bit more... Um, I should have gone for a better shot on the hull, but I rushed my shot. Just saw that Sherman on my right, but... This SU-85 is higher priority at this point. Got him. Alright, let's move. Let's spin back round, because we've lost most of our team. Go drop a smoke. Shit, he's right in front of me. I think, anyway. Right for his gun, man, though. Sweet. That's him dealt with. Cheated Russian tank leaves. No, they just have better tanks than us sometimes. And also a slight bit of Russian bias, but still. Let's 
definitely something moving on that cab. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's something you can do with this tank. You can pick the Color Crusaders transmission. I thought you could also 50 cal the back of a Crusader's turret, but apparently not. This vehicle does very well in city fighting, as you can tell. What is that sound? Not the planes flying overhead. Yeah, it's coming from my left. Whatever it is, it's probably coming in behind me, so I need to move. <clears throat> Check left. Clear. Might be able to sneak through the archway, but I'm not going to risk it. That sounds Japanese, I think, but we've got the Japanese, so maybe it's a Chinese and Japanese tank? I was right, it's a Chihakai. I thought I recognized the engine sound. He came looking for me. Which means he might have a friend. Something's on Bravo. Yeah, nice try, mate. But that's still being kept, I think. No, it's not. That's good. This team is losing really badly and I don't like it. Uh, right, okay. We need to take that cap now. Now, unfortunately, Gaijin have made a few changes to this vehicle, but they've not given it smoke shells, which... Hold on. No, we're clear. Let's move. I thought I heard something else, so I'm just going to smoke up here. But yeah, they've not given this thing the smoke shell, which would be really nice. Aeroplane. That's a Sturmovic, and I think it's seen us, so we need to move. Yep, here she comes! Oh no. Oh, we're good. Thankfully, Mario knows how to put the thing in gear. Okay, 50 cows out of commission, but that's okay. Yeah, I think we need to push to Charlie, because our team is not doing too great. Before I do that... Wait a minute. That sounds like a Stuart. Hold on. I'm going to lay a bet it's that guy we killed in the Chinese Chiha. <laughs> the enemy is winning. We're still on the cap for the moment, but I'm going to point my arse to him. Nope, it's a locust. Nice try, you little shit. That sounds British. We need to move. Alright, we've got some wall to use as cover here, so let's move. That sounds like a Matilda or a Valentine. Which means it's going to have some heavy armor for us to crack, but this gun can do it. No, it's a freaking archer! <laughs> I'm going to take my time with this one. I was going to try and take out his engine, but... Couldn't, unfortunately. Oh no. Plane. Yak 2. Oh no. We might be dead here. Nope, we're okay. Oh, I'm definitely not on their Christmas card list. We need to move. Eat that, you little shit. 
Didn't kill you, but that's not the point. Oh my god, more bombs! Yeah, I need to move, because I'm not on their Christmas card list this year. Here's a little trick for you as well. If you put your tow hook on a dead vehicle, it puts the vehicle in neutral so you can shift it easier. Ooh. Alright, I think we're okay. But we need to push to Charlie now. I don't think we can. I hear something else. Alright, fuck it. Let's go. Good crit. Nice. Line them up. Nice critical. I don't know what my tank was stuck on then. Oh, I've still got it attached. Hold on. There we go. Alright, we need to push t to Charlie. Oh, sod off. Yeah, sod off. Your puny machine guns cannot penetrate. Oh, shit, Sherman. Ah, oh, he beat me to the trigger. Good shot. Fight on the move perfectly. Great shot there, dude. Well, that just goes to show you how strong this tank can be in just one spawn. But yeah, if you want yourself a rank 3 premium for Italy, well, you know where to look now, don't you?